before I visit the Titan Stronghold, I am actually going to go to Stone City's training hall. And while I'm there, I can sell some crud. Figured I would keep this on camera so as to not break your fragile continuity. Reasoning behind that is it would be nice to have Body Magic Grandmaster before I go in there. Not essential, but it would make me feel a bit more comfortable and allow me to be a bit more reckless. No guarantees on how long this episode is going to be. If only because I'm actually going to have to go there to the Titan Stronghold. I'll probably fight while I'm around there, while I'm in the neighborhood, you know. I also need to visit skilled trainers. Thankfully, the Body Magic Grandmaster is actually in Avley. I don't need to visit the Spear Magic Grandmaster, though. He's in Pierpont. He's effectively on the way. And while I'm here, I can sell crud. It's closed. Once I wait another 12 hours. Because <laughs> I gotta wait for the damn training hall to open up anyway. Ah, go! You know, let's just wait around these shops. And once I get done training, I just teleport out. Wait until dawn. Thank you. Looking for something special? No. Buy my stuff. Thank you for your patronage. Yep. Best time our money can buy. Is it? Goodbye. Come back soon. He never came back. Tell me what you need. Money. Thank you. Nothing but the finest ingredients. No yellow reagents. They're not the finest ingredients, you lying sack of shit. Ah, go! Is that too much? You know, I could visit the dwarf. No, I don't care. It's too much. Too much of a pain in the ass to get to this place. No pain, no gain. Good job. 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 Good job! We're getting eight skill points per level now. Also, welcome to the end of March. Remember when I said I was going to be able to pick up the bounties in March? <laughs> Maybe not, huh? <laughs> we have even more spell points now. Spell points? Well, we do have more spell points. We also have more skill points. There we go. Close. Ah, our nice little uh, ring is providing a plus four bonus to the spells. I believe these rings provide half of your skill point bonus. Like, just basically, like, feed it back in. Obviously, round it down. Just kind of, like, looking at you, like, what the hell I even do with you? <laughs> Flailfist. He's like, you know, stuff. Ah, uh, actually, while well, I'm thinking about it, because I didn't do this between videos, let me check something here quick. Ah, uh, the lock in there, that's a DC, no, it's a DC, yes. Okay, we're going to need a disarm trap skill of 32, huh? Okay, well, in Avli, I can pick up, like, another tinker. Like a locksmith, that's not that big of a deal. It's a good thing I remembered. Otherwise, I'd have to... I could just telekinesis the damn chest. There's enough distance. Yeah, we'll telekinesis them. I'm certainly not putting more points into Disarm Trap, so you're safe on that front. Buddy. Ah! Uh, you're free and clear to pick up Grandmaster of these things, too, the moment we get you up to Ninja. With that in mind, I'm just going to keep these skill points. Uh, well, I can just pick up the trainings because we are going to have uh, you pick up leather, master.
for even more armor class. And then we'll go for the Staff Grandmaster, which will be a 54 skill point investment. Uh, it takes 27 to get to 7, and then another 27 to get to 54. Which is a 10. What the... <laughs> I feel like what I said is correct. <laughs> but there was just something wrong about it anyway, you know? All of Revagain's skill points from now until the end of time are, uh, going to go most definitely into bow. Bow with 13 now. We are going to be getting that Grandmastered. You've already spent every skill point you've got. Princess J2, what the hell do we do with you? Just kind of like shrugged. I could take these up to Master. Beats me. Armor's there. I'm not. Don't care about mace. Uh, I could prepare myself for alchemy grandmaster, I guess. And I could pick up meditation grandmaster too while I'm at it, because I have enough skill points to advance both of those things. But those don't really like help her be more effective at all. Might just put more points in the air because that's what I'm using for, like, my attack stuff anyway. Now you can see the ring provides a plus four bonus. Yeah, we'll do that. And you can always use more spell points, so... We are definitely going to be l leveling up some more before... before this, so... go ahead and do that. 377 spell points for you now. Good. So Flailfish is just gonna squat on his. Just shrug. Think about life. Think about everything. We'll spend them. <laughs> Even though we're not going to use a staff right now. Just wanted to make sure I correctly put those in staff so I don't have to run kicking and screaming. Let's get out of here. Already eight minutes into this episode. It's good. Let's see here. Shut up. Oh, yes! That's right! I suppose with all that training, that did make time pass. Yeah! I hadn't thought about training until right before starting this episode, and so I had put this out of my mind. I thought we'd have to wait more for this. Ah! Change of plans! My lords, I have a message for you from Niles Stantley, an associate of Mr. Malwick, whom I'm sure you've already met. I'd advise you to read this message and act on it with all due speed. Mr. Stantley does so admire punctuality. Change of plans, everyone! Because I advanced time. What a swerve! My lords, I request your presence at the Mercenary Guild in Detalia in two weeks to discuss the service you owe an associate of mine, Mr. Malwick. Failure to adhere to this request could prove most devastating for you and your town. I look forward to meeting you, Niall Stantley. Remember Mr. Mowick on Emerald Isle? That offer we accepted? That was forever ago, wasn't it? Well, they're calling in the favor. Now, we could tell them to get fucked and just not even bother to visit. But he would be very pouty-faced about that. Where does that even show up in this quest log? And talk to Nile Stanley within two weeks? Harby Queen? Possible. <laughs> I would just have to aggro the halls of the pit. Nah. <laughs> 
could survive it. It wouldn't be. It would just be annoying whenever I traveled through there. I'd have to kill everything in the halls of the pit, and it's a separate area, so the pit wouldn't be aggroed on me. Huh. I mean, it's only the halls of the pit. It's not the thing, but you're right. I, I think I'll let it go. It's funny though. Yeah, I for I completely like I knew that was coming, but it just slipped my mind that whenever I was gonna train that Hi, how are you? You know it'd bring that along. Perfect. I did it again. Not exactly sure why it slipped my mind. But here we are. I was actually coming out. To grab these. Now lethal is better at these things he doesn't use. And while I'm at it... This is not the place I wanted to go. Apparently it is since you took us there, Gareth. Okay, so I guess no Titan Stronghold this episode. Vate Twist. Here we go. Now Lethal is a leather master. <laughs> Despite not really wearing it, he's really good at it now. When he picks up Dungeon Grandmaster, his armor class is... <laughs> gonna be beautiful. It's exactly how that sounds, by the way. Vic at 207 hit points. Okay. With that visited, uh, we need to visit the Mercenary Guild, which is in Tatalia. So... Let's go. What's your bounty for this month that's about to expire? Bronze Golem! You like how I said that? Ah, oh, it's the last day of the month, too! Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can do this. Hold on a second, Niall Stanley. This is funny. Hey! <laughs> Y'all got one of them bronze golems around here? You do? That's great. I have no idea. <laughs> it's adorable. Ow, it doesn't even hurt. It's dead. See you, nerd. Ow. <laughs> Done. Thanks. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. We could finally collect that reagent that's hovering over here and make it disappear thanks to the power of telekinesis. But those crash rose petals can remain there always as guardians of the night. It's been a long time since not only I've played this game and gotten this far, but I've actually grabbed the wand from Mr. Malwick by accepting the request and visited Niall Stantley. It's been a long time, folks. Greetings, my friends. I've come to collect on the deal you made with my associate, Mr. Malwick. I trust you remember him from Emerald Isle? I never ended up checking the Town Hall of Pierpont to see what their bounty was for the month of March. Oh well. Maybe that's why I teleported there. We request your services for one task. A rare and valuable tapestry rests in Castle Gloaming 
an antique from near the silence, stolen from the wizards some time ago. I would like you to get the tapestry for me, as my normal associates don't have access to Castle Gloaming. In return, I'll make sure that the large band of renegade swordsmen and goblins near Harmondale don't accidentally stumble upon your quiet little village. You have one month. Don't be late. So, if you're following the light path, uh, Niles here will send you to Castle Lambert instead, which is in Celeste, to retrieve a tapestry there as well. Your reward for doing this is that Harmondale isn't attacked. <laughs> That's your reward. <laughs> and whatever gold or experience you might fetch along the way. Uh, understandably, by doing this, you will upset uh, the individuals in Castle Lambert and Gloaming. Uh, I don't recall whether that would lock the throne room doors like it would in another castle, or like Lord Markham's Manor whenever you upset it. Uh, but if that did, or if you couldn't survive who you aggroed, you'd have to wait for the area to reset. It would eventually, allowing you to return there and continue on with your life. Understandably, we're going to tell him to get fucked and say to bring it on. But here are the repercussions of accepting the fireball wand from Mr. Malwick. Since you don't need the wand to kill the dragon, you could just circle strafe a bit more. Uh, that makes this a very very high price and a real huge investment that they made <laughs> on that wand <laughs> for what purpose do they want the tapestry i honestly can't recall if he says if you delivered successfully <laughs> that's been an even longer time <laughs> since i've done that <laughs> but i wanted to show this off in this series Steal the tapestry from your associate's castle and return it to Niall Stantley in the Mercenary Guild in Detalia. Well, no Titan Stronghold. But I tell you what. Let's make it up to ourselves, <laughs> to each other, and whatever. <laughs> so close to grabbing Spirit Magic Grandmaster. Alas, Mind Magic Grandmaster is here by the by, of course. Off at the wharf. We're gonna pay another visit to Lord Markham's Manor. Wait. <laughs> Who's upset here? You have the audacity to be aggroed on me? Hmm. That's cute. You better believe uh, we are going to be paying Lord Markham a visit for sure now. They would not have been aggroed by me grabbing the vase. Maybe here the guards do care about the light dark shift. Well, spoiler easy. alert. By doing that, we've now upset the entire town. That's too easy. And we'll not be able to recruit these people for our future endeavors. You peasants are lucky I didn't unleash the trolls on you. So lucky. The nerve to dare to try and fight me. The absurdity of the task. There's some more bowmen up here. Do they care? Because if they do, uh, I've got some bad news for them. Oh, they care. Alright. Remember what I did to the trolls? Oh, please. That happens to you. So, enjoy.
Yep, those cannon shots that we've seen before have been effectively death blossom. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. Lord Markham. Hey, buddy. As I've noted before, we can't kill him. He's protected. He doesn't have a model. He's in a room. But, uh, we can certainly roleplay that, uh, we dealt with him. People have regeneration on? No, they don't. Consider this a warm-up, I suppose, for... The Titan Stronghold that's going to happen, and whenever we do have to come back to Detalia here to, uh... <coughs> settle accounts, we'll say. <laughs> the Mercenary Guild is a place you'd go to, too. If you were on the path of light to retrieve the, uh, the Heartwood. That thing that you need to calm down the forest. But, uh... We'll probably end up being back there and paying another visit, you know? Because of the reasons. Those nefarious reasons. <laughs> this is going to be interesting, I think. Do I throw down the haste potions? I won't throw down the haste potions. Come get some. You want to know why you should get some? That was disappointing. I don't know. Perhaps you can ask somebody else. Casting their buffs as they do. We are right in this dude's face. I have no idea. He's no longer a problem. The Master of the Sword, as I've I noted, have no idea. is the greatest peril in here. Besides us. <laughs> You guys are immune. No. No one except for like the dark edit. The, the, the enemies of the dark are immune to dark magic. You're just screwing me over, game. That's what it is. I have no idea. Come on then. Ah, they cast heroism on themselves. Ow. Ow. What a scrap. Ah, that's actually close enough to hurt us. Well. Out of curiosity. I have no idea. Ow. These guards are determined. That's fine. I too am determined. Bring it, Master of the Sword. Ah, but a scratch. You'll notice that Flailfist only dealt six damage there. Ah, but a scratch. And this Master ah, of the Sword is pretty damn hard to hit. I'm actually gonna get right up in his face so I can just shotgun him. Ah, but a scratch. You'll also notice. He's got it in for Flailfist. Ah, but a scratch. I have no you idea. You stay out of this. You'll have to do better than that. You will have to do better than that. You ready for a toast? Mazeltov. I don't. 
Ah, but a scrap. Ow! I actually hit f Revocate there, my goodness. Ah, but a scratch. Bang! I have no idea. 72 points of damage, very nice. Master no Sword idea. is finally like, fuck this. <laughs> Lord Markham does not pay me enough for this shit. Let's throw down a shared life of all things to benefit Flailfist ah, a little a bit. Scratch. I have no idea. Don't worry. We're coming for you. Hi. It's disarmed. Hmm. Hopefully you can understand why I was not too keen on fighting these folks earlier. That Master of the Sword hits for a lot. But look at that loot! 1,897 gold pieces on him. Hmm. Worthless. Hi! Hmm. It's disarmed. Hmm. Fairy Wanda Swarms. Hmm. Cure Poison. Hmm. This is worthless. This is worthless. Pretty sure Vic already knows that one. Yeah. It's cure disease that she doesn't know. It's disarmed. This is worthless. Champion Sword of Fire. This is worthless. I disarmed it. An excerpt from a diary. Finally managed to rid myself of that cursed land. I have enough problems. I certainly don't need them compounded by a centuries-old elf-human conflict. Fortunately, my scheme worked perfectly. That little group accepted a territory I couldn't pay to have someone take. Now all that's left is to secure my position in car- This is worthless. Mind resistance. Hmm. I disarmed it. This is worthless. This is worthless. This is worthless. <laughs> of course you'd think that stuff is worthless. <laughs> Books. This is worthless. Warriors do not read books. That's all there is to Lord Markham's Manor. It's locked. It's locked. And we can't unlock it. Wasn't that fun? You know, these people over here aren't too upset about everything. That's good. Wouldn't want to have to kill them, you know? <laughs> What's the bounty? <sighs> you people. Just a misunderstanding. I only butchered a bunch of archers who were shooting at me first. I'm never gonna like go into like those castle throne rooms again to be arrested. So this is irrelevant for me to pay. I'm not gonna pay it, man. Give me a bounty. A genie? Uh... Hopefully the ones in the walls will miscount. <laughs> because it's the only ones I can think of. Are there ones in Castle Lambert? I don't remember. Walk into my own throne room, get arrested. It's my own damn sovereign nation. <laughs> That'd be funny. Like, what the hell? Fire dragonfly? Well, that's not happening. The council is in session. Archer? Of course it'd have to be an archer after I already went to the time. I already killed all of them. And these are elven archers in here. They don't count. See? Elven archers. 
Let's. They don't count. <laughs> Damn bounty. All right. A tragedy. <laughs> We've already gone a half hour into this episode. I expected to be in a Titan stronghold and be, like, delivering the damn perfect bow back to Mr. Snick. What a curious turn of events this was. Uh, not unpleasant. Except for the archer thing, that son of a bitch. <laughs> it's like he knew. Uh, I'm carrying around all this crud. I should have probably sold this. Uh, we have some inventory space for looting in the Titan Stronghold. Or I could just sell things while I'm in Avalee. Welp. How do I want to go about this? Grab a cool, refreshing, crisp taste. Let's tag that body resistance, because that's going to be useful. And we'll go sell what little I can while I'm here. Better than me dropping it. I'll maybe you'll buy next time. Fine, everything. I know you're not talking to me. Thank you for your patronage. And I might just drop those books, who knows? I'll let this episode go on longer. Um, what I will do is I will clear out some wyverns, wyverns, whateverns, and uh, those water elementals around the Titan Stronghold, I suppose. Then watch next month, we'll get bounties involving them. You're not the person I want. Over here. Body Magic Grandmaster. This unlocks, provided the guild here is going to be selling it. Power Cure. And also unlocks the Grandmaster versions of all the spells I'm already casting. Particularly Grandmaster Protection from Magic. Which is... The guild of the body welcomes you. Immensely convenient. Thanks. That is going to be useful. That's not all of them. What am I missing that I didn't grab? It was cure disease that I never grabbed. Right? You. <laughs> there, we can have page completion. So, power cure. Cures hit points of all characters in your party at once. Ten plus five per point of skill in body magic. That's as good as that spell ever gets. So you're looking at 60 hit points for everyone, so you can cast a shared life and follow it up with a power cure. You've also got cure weakness. You can cure that no matter how much time has passed. A Grandmaster harm. <laughs> Grandmaster flying fist. Eh. Grandmaster cure poison. Eh. Disease. Eh. Heal. Eh. Regeneration. Oh. <laughs> body resistance. Eh. 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 40 points of body resistance from the spell. Hammer hands, spell effects the entire party, and GM protection from magic, which grants immunity to death in eradication effects. Take, for example, Ancient Wyverns. Uh, they have an instant kill attack. With GM protection from magic, that's countermanded. Uh, take Blood Titans in the Titan Stronghold. They have an instant kill attack. Not with protection from magic and Grandmaster. They still deal a shit ton of damage. So don't get me wrong there. But there's no instant kill effect. Very nice. As a matter of fact, let's see, that shrine, that shrine actually does less than our GM body magic, so... Body resistance. So why not slap it down? Yeah. And so finally, I will swim into these wyverns and tell them, It's fucking wyverns! <laughs> no kiting them individually. No, like, you know, pausing time to, like, turn-base mode. 
None of that. No, like, throwing down meteor showers? Unnecessary. Ah, what a scratch. <laughs> ah, what a scratch. It's just a cut, but I need it fixed. Ow! Yeah, it doesn't even hurt. Ah, what a scratch. If they break my equipment, ah, what a Nick scratch. can just repair it. Ah, what a scratch. Oh, oh no, Ow. poison! How dare you! Rude! Oh, yeah. Poison? Oh, no, we'll just have to use... Magic bullshit! All right, children, gather around. Don't be shy, come with me. Sometimes just for looting them, uh, I would kite them into town. The uh, elven guard station around do deal a nice amount of damage. We have GM regeneration, man. Ugh. Ah, oh, you guys are so hosed. Ah, what a scratch. That would have been a kill. It doesn't even hurt. Ow. It's just a cut. That also but would have been a kill. Fixed. Oh yeah. Ow. Ah. What a scratch. Ah, Ow. what a scratch. That too. Like, the ancient wyverns don't have that much health. Like, like 200s or 300s or whatever. Ah, what a scratch. Ow. And, but like, I for this fixed. level that we're at, like, the damage they deal isn't that awful either. Like, what is so problematic for them, and that's even with our considerable, like, body resistance. You know, we would have to drink white potions. You know, to have a high enough body resistance to maybe countermand that and have considerable luck. As an actually a luck attribute. And, you know, maybe some luck. <laughs> Hey, jerk. That's not very nice. Can I shrink you? That was too easy. At least we got to shrink a golem for our troubles. That was fun, right? I didn't say you could run from me. That's cute that you want to try. It doesn't even Let's hurt. Let's kill another. We're about to. <laughs> Rest assured, we're about to. Ah. In all honesty, I'm just gonna drop the vial of troll blood, get out of my inventory, and into my rubbish. That garden is pretty nice, though, and there's a bunch of apples for us. We can enjoy a nice snack. It's a moonstone. Yeah, it's a moonstone. You know, the rewards around this area are not particularly bad. <laughs> the gold the ancient wyverns carry, though, is not worth the danger they present, though, in my opinion. They're really the example of a monster that, without Grandmaster Body Magic, you either prepare to raise folks from the dead, which we could certainly do. The real problem would be if Vic died. I'd have to crack open these raised dead scrolls, you know? Because J2 doesn't have the skill points invested to throw down Spirit Magic Master for raised dead. As I didn't put him there. But wait, there's more. Ah, what a scratch. Call now! Ah, what a scratch. Ah, what a scratch. 
Ah, what a scratch. Call now for Ah, what a scratch. <laughs> it doesn't even hurt. Behold, as all these enemies Ow! scatter around and breathe their noxious fumes at your face. Sigh with it dismay as you hope to gather them all up to conveniently like meteor shower them. And note that they want no such part of that. They have no treasure. They only have disappointment. It's but water elemental it things. Ow. By Parker Brothers. But I need it now. Realize that J2 keeps getting cut. And you can't ever stop. Ow. Ow. Behold how many hit points the cleric no longer has. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Got him. It doesn't even hurt. It doesn't even hurt. Ow. And look at how many hit points the entire group has. Ow. Thanks to Grandmaster Regeneration. Done. And done. Ah, been a nice bit of combat we've had. Joyous, peaceful, hmm. got a dazzling ring of doom. Doom! <laughs> Resistant to poison, who cares? Doom! As if poison's going to stop this group. So, Titan Stronghold is there. And off over here, I'll go ahead and show this off. There's a few more wyverns. Including an ancient one. Two ancients. Ah, ah, ah. Well, while I can... Ah. Let me show this off, because I'm curious and I can't remember off the top of my head. 247 hit points. Ah, what a, even what a paltry sum in the grand scheme of things. Yes! Ah, what Ow, a but I need it fixed! Ow! Ow! Ah, what a scratch. Ow! Just like the gold I'll loot from their bodies. You aren't trying to escape from Griffith. Bring on a bigger challenge. Up here, we've got the Test of Might. My first new camp pass it is J2, and I don't feel like altering equipment. And it looks like there'll be one wyvern to tell the tale of danger and woe. This, as noted, the proud center of a false religion, the temple has fallen into disrepair. The Temple of Ba. Which is where we'd want to go to defeat the High Priest of Ba, to get lethal promoted, if we were on the Path of Light. As we are not on such a path... Well, as I noted, we'll still probably hop in there anyway. That takes care of Avli, though! Regards to that stuff. Not bad, huh? Oh, no, I guess there's you critters out here around this damn thing. But wait, there's even more! <laughs> Piece of cake! Ah, but it's it doesn't even hurt. I probably should have quaffed those haste potions in advance. I'd still have them to enjoy whenever I went to the Titan Strong. You better believe I'm quaffing those, by the way. That will be a a dungeon I will take quite seriously. 
Off here is like some building designed to tease you, I think. It's nothing. What could it be? What does it be? Bring on a bigger challenge. We gotta put one of the damn statuettes that I'm not currently holding up there. That's uh, rubbish. Rubbish indeed. Everyone's got fairly nice belts. We're resistant to stone. Yeah, like that's a problem. <laughs> I'll leave them there as an example. Okay, everyone. This video did not turn out at all like I'd anticipated. Gotta be in the Titan stronghold. We're gonna get some sweet loot. We're killing dragons and titans. Gonna get the perfect bow and then slap it on Flailfish instead of Revaking so that he can keep using Ulysses. Then Flailfish could have the perfect bow. But no. Instead, this happened. <laughs> Niall Stantley paid us a call How we help you? after I chose to level up. What the hell, I'll treat you. Walk in the light. Yes, walk in the light, goodbye, whatever. We're out. Just wanted to restore uh, spell points that we were missing. Ah, we don't have the most health going into this, and in all reality... I should uh, probably get the rest of the class promoted. At least Flailfish before I come in here. But damn it, I'm down here. Got some action to do. It's gonna be great. The Titan Stronghold. Looks pretty cool. Not exactly. It, it, it's bigger inside than it is on the outside, which is one of those things, you know? <laughs> so yeah, next time. We go into a mighty fortress housing the fantastic and murderous titans. No one has ever entered and returned to tell the tale, except for apparently the last person who got the perfect bow. What do I know, right? <sighs> yeah, my decision to train definitely made this interesting. Pierre Bont Town Hall's total troll, IO finds. <sighs> Then after this, I'm gonna go get the Scroll of Waves, get Flailfist promoted. That might not kill all the uh, the critters here in the Titan Stronghold. It depends on how well the group holds up. We can certainly kill them at ranged, uh, just with some patience, as I've demonstrated before. <laughs> Melee, though, uh, definitely harder. Require more. Uh... Well, we'll see how it goes next episode. I'm curious, too, for sure. Take care.